I, I do know you're, 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 you have your certain religious convictions and you're, you're a bit more religious and faith, like in faith than I. You know, maybe the beginning of all of our conversations. Now, at the same time, that on my journey the last couple of months is I am arriving at t- trying to get rid of the ego and I didn't know what the language was and I don't even know what ego defi- like is defined by, but when I read the books, it's saying, get rid of the ego and what you're left with is the true you, the true spirit, the inner self. The, it's where this presence of mind is and it's not my material, like, like material items of clothing or talk or speech or, or monetary or trappings. It's this visibility or awareness of my own voice or inner spirit you know, naked of all the pieces. So I'm getting mindful and I'm finding out that's me, that's in my mind or where it might actually be in my body or it's in my head and in my heart or in every limb, I'm not too sure. But at the same time as reading that other book, the Quantum quantum Theory book, all of these people arrived at the mats, the mats of the universe. Hidden, when they start going on a microscopic level and a macroscopic level is this mathematical precision of, of certainty. Now there's still elements of uncertainty, but they were saying what, what it was seeming to be more evident while they were trying to be classical sort of physicists and disprove religion and all the rest of it, they're nearly going on a journey of proving it. Because no, it's not, not religion. The religion might be the wrong language and God might be the wrong language. Is this could have been created. It was built, it was made, it was seeded, it was planted. Because the maths is it's so mathematical down to the level of DNA that it's it's too bloody. I think perfect. what's interesting is that regardless of where your viewpoint actually comes from, and that includes me, is that if as long as you're not frightened to explore the possibilities and then do use critical thinking to to do analysis on what you think or believe and what others think and believe, then you're open to a lot of different possibilities and can start some interesting dialogues. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click on the bell for notifications.